What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So as heavily requested and I've been eager to talk to you guys about it now that I've spent a little bit of time with the Eau de Toilette, I'm very familiar with the Le Parfum already. We are going to do a categorical breakdown of which I think is the better for your money when it comes to Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Beau Eau de Toilette or Le Beau Le Parfum. Let's discuss, shall we? Stay tuned. Before we jump into the battle, I want to thank PerfumeOnline.ca for sending Le Beau Le Parfum my way. I also purchased Le Beau EDT from PerfumeOnline.ca. For those of you not familiar with PerfumeOnline.ca, they're Canada's number one online discount site. They've got a bunch of cheap Middle Eastern, cheap designer, regular mid-level designers, private lines, niche. I mean, you name it. They might have it. Vintage, discontinued stuff, all at competitive prices, and they do offer shipping all across the country for those of you in the U.S., no worries, you can definitely grab something from them. I'll have links in the description for both of these fragrances. Check them out when you get a chance. Now let's get into this battle. So naturally we have to start off with the most important category of scent. And this is a fresh coconut sweet fragrance. Very airy, light, but hangs around for quite a while, which we'll discuss performance in a little while. I actually get great performance out of this one. But the scent profile, I would put this in the great everyday enjoyable tropical scent profile because there's enough going on here for being a simplistic note breakdown it smells a little bit deeper than that for a great everyday wear for somebody that likes a vacation in a bottle type of thing because it's a very beachy type of vibe um, the coconut here doesn't come across real sunscreen heavy and synthetic or nauseating in some ways because some syn synthetic coconut oils kind of can be a little nauseating for me at times this one definitely does not do that the scent profile on here though simplistic in its design feels to be deeper than you would think it to be it smells quite lovely the tonka beans not overdone it's not too powdery it's actually quite nice now in regards to Le Beau Le Parfum this one has some more depth to it it's even more tropical sweet and fruity because with that coconut comes a juicy pineapple note there is a bit of greenery here with some bright green cypress that adds a different level of freshness to this that kind of goes hand in hand with that tropical fruity drink type of smell that the pineapple coconut combo can bring there's iris here but it leaves a little bit of a soapy floral tone doesn't make it too powdery and it doesn't really give that typical designer iris smell that a lot of people have come to accustomed to like think um la Mal le parfums iris it's not super powdery and waxy like that like i said it's a little bit more soapy floral then you still have a hefty dose of tonka bean just like you do here you've got that tonka bean sweet sweetness here it's a higher oil concentration so it is richer overall while there is a little bit more complexity here it does smell a bit better, I have to say. So in terms of just scent alone, for as great as this one is, in its most simple form, like I said, this is this in a simple form. This is a much more intriguing and likable scent profile. My wife definitely enjoys this one a bit more, and so do I. So the scent category goes to Le Bola Parfum. Now in terms of performance, this one's no slouch. I've had people tell me that they get on the weaker side of performance. I get in the six to eight, even nine hour, really seven to nine hour range, I think is the right realm for me to put it because that's typically where I get more so in the eight to nine hour range. Uh, projection is not super heavy on the moderate side. Uh, I'm a moderate sprayer with this five to seven sprays. I'm actually wearing it currently as my scent of the day. It's quite enjoyable. This is one that goes great with just about everything if you're looking for that beachy, fresh, tropical vibe and you like a little bit of sweetness in your fragrances because it's not overly sweet um the CIs on this one does calm down a bit it's on the moderate to mild side so what you're left with after that projection calms down in about an hour and a half to two hours is a nice mild CIs where you get nice light whiffs of it throughout your day through the remaining life of the scent now in regards to the performance on Le Beau Le Parfum it's definitely more so in that eight to ten hour range leaning more in the nine to ten hour range it's not a drastic difference in longevity for me personally i do get a you know roughly two hours more out of this one than i do here now the projection is definitely on the heavier side this one wears a bit heavier it's a higher oil concentration but because you would think this one's so much airy so much more airy that it would get out in the air a bit more well this one i don't know it's something about the com the combination of the added depth to the scent and the higher oil concentration it really puts out this 
rather large bubble, this nice aura. So projection still on the moderate side, but leans a little bit more to the moderate heavy side, just slightly. So projection is a little bit heavier on this one, even though it's a heavier composition. But in turn, the sillage is naturally going to be bigger with the heavier oil concentration because it will linger in the air a lot longer with it being a higher density. So you're looking at more of a moderate sillage versus the moderate to mild sillage of this one. So across the board in all three categories of performance, again, it's La Bola Parfum. Third category and often slept on and not considered enough is overall versatility. The situations you're going to wear this in. So the Eau de Toilette, while Again, I go back to the simplicity of the scent profile. It's light, it's airy, it's not super sweet, it's not very powdery, it's fresher overall. This is a great everyday wear, like I stated in the beginning of the video, for those that really would like something a little different, out the norm. You don't want your typical blue fragrances or your standard aquatics, but you like that fresh fragrance appeal that has a pretty high compliment factor. And you want that, like I said, vacation in the bottle type of feel. This offers a little bit higher level of versatility in more situations. Not the best dressy occasion fragrance, but for a work day, for a casual day, even for a night out in the warmer weather, I think this one works just fine. The versatility on this one, I think comparatively, is a little bit higher than it is in Le Bola Parfum because this is sweeter, this is a bit more powdery, though I would like this one more in the evenings, especially in the warmer weather. This is by the beach having dinner, even having mixed tropical fruity drinks, as my wife likes to call them, tropical fruity drinks, because this is sweeter, this is juicier, because the added pineapple note, the intensified tonka bean, you do have some greenery. Like I said, it's a little bit deeper overall, but it also seems a little bit more playful because of the enhanced sweetness and the powdery tone. This is less serious of a fragrance, not that either one of them really are. I think this one will cut through the cold a bit better when you just need to transport to a vacation in a bottle type of feeling. This one can evoke that for you, but in an everyday versatile, versatile situation where you just want something you can grab and go and you like these this scent profile, you want that coconut tropical feel, I think in an everyday sense, this one's got a little bit higher versatility, though neither are a great everyday scent for outside of the summertime. I think the versatility category definitely leans to Le Beau Eau de Toilette. Final thoughts on this one. If you're only buying one, which one are you going to buy? So you can find this in the $70 to $80 range from most places online. I'll have links to both of them down below. And you're going to pay in that $100 plus realm for this one from Discounters Online. So there is a price difference. At minimum, you're looking at like $25 to $30 more for this versus the Le Parfum. With that said, I don't think you have to spend the extra $30. I think you will be just fine with the Eau de Toilette. But if we're taking money out of the situation here, because it's not a huge difference in price, I think the overall winner, if you're going to buy one, Le Beau Le Parfum is the one to get. It is a deeper scent. It is more enjoyable. It's more attractive. It's more evening appropriate in warm weather, spring, fall, hell, anytime you want that tropical casual feel, this will really work. Now, keep in mind the intensive, it's intensified in sweetness and it's a little bit more powdery than the Eau de Toilette. Remember, this one won the versatility category by not a large margin, but a large enough margin. But between the two, you're going to get a similar experience and scent profile. This is just deeper. This is richer. This performs better, and honestly, it smells better. So my pick, the winner of this video, if you're just going to buy one Lebeau, you need to get Lebeau Le Parfum. Once again, thank you so much to PerfumeOnline.ca for sending this one my way, and I also purchased this one from them. So both bottles came from them, one gifted, one purchased. So make your decisions, try them both if you can, but for my money, if you value my opinion, I think this one is the way to go. It is the better fragrance. It's also the more expensive fragrance. But you'll be just fine with Le Beau Eau de Toilette. Either way, you're good, but my money is on Le Beau Le Parfum. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. Which one of these do you like? Have you tried both? Have you tried either one? Have you not tried either? It's always good to start with the original DNA. Don't get me wrong. And there is some level of redundancy here to have both. But I got to tell you what, 
from an olfactive experience standpoint, they're both worth trying. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on either version of LeBeau and you give them spray now, pretty confident you'll thank me later because they're both really good. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.